Deanwood Please. is a historical black neighborhood in mm -hmm. the district. It's it's one of the uh, only black neighborhoods left in the city. Mm -hmm. um, very very historical. It at one point had um, it had a racetrack. It had an amusement park, uh, and all this was done by black families pretty much because this area was not um, serviced by the government. Mm -hmm. And so they became very uh, self-reliant. The school itself, it was the Deanwood School, which was one of the first black schools. It's just a lot of generational uh, things here. Okay, we're going in. Yeah, we're going in 122. Wait a minute, come here, come here, come here. No? Yeah, a little bit. We have two career pathways, which is AK, which is what you guys saw in the in the post, and then we have leadership JRTC. So this is it. This whole wing is us. We kind of self-contained back here. That old restroom labs are over here. So when you come here, the ninth at the freshman year, your ninth graders, they take both intro to ACAD mm -hmm. and your RTC so they can get a kind of feel for which pathway they want to follow. And then 10th grade, they, de they decide which one they are going to do. If students decide to continue the construction track, known as the Academy of Construction and Design, or ACAD, they begin to take hands-on courses while also learning about more technical aspects like math, design technology, and blueprint reading. By their senior year, they take the skills they've learned to the construction site under the guidance of certified professionals and industry leaders. Throughout their time in the program, students have the opportunity to work on real projects that help real people. So this is Intro to ACAD, so the ninth graders are here. Our Intro to ACAD teacher is an alum. She actually went through the program and graduated. I see a lot of me and a lot of them. So a lot of things I used to do in high school as far as not wanting to go to class and not really having interest in construction originally and then, you know, trying to do what someone else did for me as far as like turn their perception or perspective around about mm -hmm. the program to show them the different opportunities that are available. How do you know how to count it on your layout? Um, show our cut team, 8-8 round, who actually, all three of you guys work on finishing your cuts. My name is Ian Milne. I teach at Idea Public Charter School. So I've taught in D.C. for the last 10 years, but I heard it was coming here, and I'd been teaching social studies for uh, a decade at least. And But I had experience building houses in college with a contractor, so I uh, just gave it a shot and it worked out. Nice. Um, yeah, it's the best job ever. I'm <laughs> loving it. The goal of it is to increase student interest and participation in the trades, to get kids certified, with uh, an NCCER, which is a nationally recognized certification. Um, and the goal is for them to pass those exams, but also get a lot of hands-on experience. And then if they want, it's just really about giving students more options. So my name is Keon Ford and I'm in 10th grade. So I always wanted to know what it looked like to actually build a house. And it's good to see a house through all of its processes. We are building uh, Minim House. The designer and the owner of the house actually uh, gave us the plans so that we could recreate it. In addition to a lot of the, um, real energy efficient, it has a cistern system and uh, uh, solar panels and it's got propane. The neat thing is it has it has an incinerated toilet. And one kid looked at me he asked, he said, so does it burn you if you sit down? No, you don't burn it until you get up. Unfortunately, this area is considered a food desert. We hope to be able to provide the fruits and vegetables for us, for our school. So these are some more beds. We got compost bins back here. When you think about construction, most of the time you're not really thinking about like a garden. Right. It's totally different. But we wanted to make sure that we could incorporate all this and give our give our school something that they need, that we all need, and also giving the kids the, the, the skills that they need to get through this program. What kind of skills have you learned like in the classes? How to properly use the tools, what the main, the codes are, using tools in the layouts and stuff. Our girls rock. Nice. They really do. Girls do better 
because they understand that they're in a male-dominated industry, so they try harder, um, they think things through. The girls really put forth great, great effort, um, and I'm really proud of, of them. The skills that you're learning can't be taken away from you, um, plus you have credentials to back it up. So in that regard, I guess, you know, students are getting kind of like a so many benefits out of one program. I think it expands kids' opportunities to see what's out there and um, different job opportunities and career paths. We're feeding the industry. We're feeding the future. That's, we're just feeding these kids so that they can be successful. And that's it. That's all. That's what we're here for. I do definitely want to continue to do this, and I probably want to own a company in this too. Hey everybody, this is the tiny house that the students of the Academy of Construction and Design completed last school year. And if anybody's interested, it's for sale. Give us a call at Idea Public Charter School.